a um, couple announcements. Uh, Elvante uh, Bell and Justin Day are not going to report and probably not going to make it uh, to enroll here at UK. Uh, we're waiting on two more, Nate Willis and, and, uh, and, um, and uh, Melvin Lewis. We're waiting on those two. We expect them uh, to be here shortly. Uh, how long that takes, we'll, we'll see. But, uh, but again, uh, a lot of excitement in the air. Players look good and uh, excited to get going today. You get Alvante is going to, he's not going to qualify uh, to, to, to enroll at UK. So uh, we're going to help him uh, get to another, another place. Mark, talk about the freshman if you would and how many you think will have to help you to make this successful. Yeah, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I would anticipate, uh, you know, we certainly need them. They make us better right away just with depth, just with practicing mm -hmm. and all those things. We'll see who jumps out at us right away, um, you know, and, and, and see how the process goes. I'm excited to see them as well. I know you all want to hear about them, and, and really I can't wait to coach them, to be honest with you, along with seeing, uh, you know, how much progress the, the upperclassmen made throughout the summer. But uh, but we're we're excited to get out there and see what they can do. Do you have a number? As to uh, I really can't. You know, I, I mean, certain positions are we're very low in numbers. Certainly, wide receivers one that jumps out at us right away. Uh, that you would hope uh, that some of those guys could come in and contribute. Uh, uh, Javis is here. Javis Blue is here, and and he'll go through practice today. So uh, so so it'll be good to see what he can do. Ashley's not going to talk today. I know he's on yeah. the roster. Now, with this situation, how will you handle his eligibility or his yeah. status? You yeah, he's he's cleared to practice right now, so so he's uh, he's recovering and he's in good position uh, to practice. He'll go through everything, normal activity right now. We're going to work through that right now. Uh, I'm not ready to to name a penalty here today. Uh, he's gone through an awful lot. We need to continue to go through the legal process, see what happens. I'm just trying to gather as much information as I can uh, before we make any decision on his future or suspension or anything like that. Coach, is play locks, the two play locks, are they okay? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Coach, what are, the, what are the spoken goals for the team when you, when you meet with the inside team? What are the goals you set for this season? to embrace the process we we talk a lot last night and 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 you know throughout the the summer throughout camp the message is just simply to embrace the process get better i know that's boring to hear sometimes but it's true we can't determine you, you know we the only thing we can do is go out there today and, and perform well and and improve our football team and, and really that's all they need to concentrate on is getting better uh, embracing that process working extremely hard and laying that foundation Well, yeah, they, they give us some depth and, and give us some guys, again, that are, that are good athletes, good players, versatile. So, um, you know, we'll see where they fit in, uh, you, you know, with, uh, you know, they, they won't be able to play this year. Is that so, that they won't be able to play? Yeah, so as of right now, that's what. Mm -hmm. seven players right now. I know we've got a big one from Louisville, but will that be a focus as you go on to continue recruiting to look at Louisville as a focal point of yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the whole state is important to us, and uh, certainly Louisville uh, uh, will be in there recruiting extremely hard, and uh, there's very good coaching and very good football in Louisville. And so, uh, yes, it is important for us to get in there and recruit it. Mark, recruit you define, what would make this first season? What, 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 how do you define success for this first year? Just improvement, you know, you know drastic improvement. You know, you know where. Shoot, I don't know. I don't know exactly where we're at. You know, we'll see. You know, we're going to go out there and uh, we're going to get to practice today, and and we're going to go about our business, and and we're going to grind hard each and every day to make this team better, and we'll see where that goes, and uh, and and we'll talk about that at the end of the year. Given the fact that you had to kind of hang up your whistle for the summer and be a be a, a, a keynote speaker when you woke up today, knowing that. I was excited. I really was. Um, you know, the, to be honest with you, it was. It, I was. I didn't sleep very good last night. I was ready to go, and uh, 
And so I think uh, that excitement, that anticipation, you know, we had a great meeting last night with our players, very attentive. Um, and, and, you know, they're, they're, they're excited to get going. The coaches are excited. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're ready to get out there. Coach, are you seeing good leadership? I am. Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, I'm seeing uh, good leadership, and, and one guy that jumps out of me in particular is Avery. You know, that really jumps out as a very, very strong leader. And there's others as well, but he's a guy that just, he's a cut above right now as far as his leadership. And so, uh, you know, that's a, that's a good guy to start with. Coach, there's mm -hmm. been a lot of negativity with uh, off field issues in the media in recent from the summer. Um, what is the positivity, the buzz around this program done for your program? Yeah, that, that's a that's a good point. I have been uh, a proud of our guys for the most part. We're not perfect by any stretch, but our guys have done a, a, a good job of, of trying to stay out of trouble. And when you have 105 guys in that room, we're not going to be perfect. Uh, but the guys have done a good job. There has been a positive buzz. And, and uh, yeah, I think our players, again, they feel that. You, you know, they feel the positive energy. They know there's a lot of people that have great interest in what they're doing. Uh, they feel the support throughout the state. And, uh, and, and they're excited. They want to go out and produce uh, for, for the people of this state, for themselves, for this university, so, so we can have a lot of pride in what we're doing. And uh, so I think that, that's a good part of what's going on. Mark, it appears one of the strong positions on yeah, it is a good position, and we have some good depth. And, uh, you know, a couple of those guys are banged up or have had issues in the past with backs and so on. So uh, it's good that we have good numbers there, and, and it gives us a chance to be a little bit more versatile. And, and uh, Neil will be up here in a little bit. You could grill him a little bit on that. But, uh, but, uh, but it, you know, it gives us a chance to do some different things. And, and, and Neil will do that, and we will do that as a football team. We'll adapt to the best players we have and, and be able to be multiple in what we're doing. You talked about in general being happy to have a full room. Is Tommy Maynard the happiest guy on the staff? How much <laughs> yeah. does that affect just your ability to practice? To have well, it, it will. It will affect our, our ability to practice, and it's great to have that depth. And with uh, with the practice, uh, you know, and you guys will get in there at some point and be able to see that, but we're going to do two separate practices. We call it two spots. So so basically ones and threes will be on one field and twos and fours will be on another. And so there's a whole bunch of reps going on. So, uh, so we need that depth. What do you hope your quarterbacks got done since the last time you were really able to uh, I just think managing the offense, uh, being in command of that huddle, the operation, the speed at which we're doing things, uh, and, and obviously leadership. As far as what do you think changed from the spring as far as you're concerned about how much time you spend on the defensive end or the offensive end? Or, yeah. or even with special yeah, it will change a little bit. I, I will be more involved uh, with the defense as far as defensive meetings, uh, the, the preparation, and, and uh, being out on the field and being involved. Um, I will certain, certainly have my presence, you know, in the in the special teams meetings and in offensive meetings as well. But uh, but I will I will be involved. How did you take the uh, com comments you made at the SEC media day meetings in terms of the uh, of people running the area of offense and things? Coaches started rebelling. My, my, my stance has been it, the rules are what they are. So we're going to play by the rules that we have. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit interesting for myself being a defensive coach my whole career and hiring a person offensively who's going to run the tempo. So uh, I understand the, the, the good and the bad that goes with it. And uh, it's our decision to, to go with that style because it gives us the best opportunity to move the football and to ultimately win games. Well, the bad is just, you know, when it doesn't go well, that, that your defense is going to be out there more. That's a fact. And, and, uh, and, you know, and so sometimes the numbers lean that way. But we're in a winning business. The bottom line is to try to win games. And so uh, the rules are what they are. Uh, I, I certainly don't have the time or the staff to do a bunch of research to see with injuries and all that. That's for somebody else to make that decision, uh, not, not me. Uh, that's right. Talk this summer about letting kind of the veteran guys know that they're your guys now, that they're not the old coaching staff guys. How did you go about doing that? How did you go about building relationships? Well, it's just it's just about trust, and, and the only way you build trust is you earn it, and, and, and by the work that we do and what we're doing, and, and the, the relationships that we're building. And we're not there yet. We're not perfect. We're still working on that. We'll get closer 
as this camp goes on. Mark, with, 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 with Willis, are you just waiting for him to get cleared of the clearinghouse that he got everything done? He, he's, done? He's, uh, he has finished up all his classes. So we're, wait, we're, we're waiting on that, yeah. Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. As a first time head coach, do you have any concerns about being patient yourself and realize you can't only do so much every day? Yeah, yeah, daily. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it is, it's, it's hard, but you know, and we, you know, preach that to the players and it's true. You, you know, we're gonna, you know, build this program brick by brick and, and, you know, we have to lay the foundation. We have to do our work each and every day. There's no shortcuts. I said that from day one. And, uh, you know, we, we want to go to work every day, give an honest day's work, and, and we expect our players to do the same thing and, uh, and just lay the foundation and, and get better. That's all we can control. Well, you know, we better have some toughness about us, and, and you know, we better play hard. Uh, you know, it's, it's very important defensively. You can overcome a lot of things. It doesn't take any talent to know what you're doing and to play hard and play relentless. And, and you know, you put that together and, and, you know, you could do some good things. Mark, early in your career you had... I'm sorry. Early in your career you worked a lot with the secondary. had some pretty profound turnaround, especially interceptions. What, what is it about your teaching style? What are you teaching there? Well, I don't, I don't know if there's any one specific area that you could get into in detail about what I'm doing, you know, with the secondary, but I think a lot of that has to do with the system and what you're doing, and you put them in a position to be successful. Yes, sir. Mark, what have you, what have you seen uh, or expect maybe out of Jason Hatcher this year? And will he be able to play this year? Well, he, he uh, looks very good, and he's, uh, from everything I've heard from our strength coaches, is he had a great summer. Uh, he looks very good right now. He's in great shape uh, uh, in just watching the film and, and knowing the type of uh, – uh, competitive person he is, I, I would expect him to come in and contribute this year. Coach, were there any specific guys that you saw last night that you hadn't seen in a while and thought, wow, this kid really did after this year? Yeah, they, they, they really, they all looked good. They really did. They, they looked good. Uh, I like the way uh, they went about their business this summer, and uh, you could see the results. Uh, you'll get a chance to see them uh, here shortly, but uh, but yeah, they, they, I, don't, I don't know if there's any one person, because really a lot of them looked a lot better. No, I'll, I'll make that call. Of course, I trust Neil, and, and, and you know he, he's, uh, you know I, I think, you know as we go through camp, uh, we'll work together on that. But but ultimately, that'll have to be my decision, with with great input from Neil. Well, I think you know as we go through camp and we build what we're doing here, that there's a trust factor there. Our players need to trust that we're going to put every one of them in a position to be successful. And they have to trust and be confident that whoever is behind center can lead this team and help us win. And, and that goes for any position. You know, there's going, to be, there's going to be injuries. There's going to be things happen. There's already been attrition. And uh, it's got to be the next man up mentality. I think anybody would like to have one guy. But again, you have to make sure you make the right choice. And so if it takes game reps, then that's what we're going to do. Blue, Blue not being here during the summer, how much has that set him back going into Pardon me? Blue not being here during the summer. Mm -hmm. Set him back, or should it not be a big factor? No, it, it, it certainly hurt him a little bit, set him back a little bit. Yeah, we preferred to have him here all summer so he could just get acclimated to the conditioning, if nothing else. But, uh, but yeah, we, the good news is, is we have quite a few practices before the first game. Mark, are Zedarius and Bud Dupree, are they at the level of defensive ends you've worked with? Them? Yeah, they really are. Yeah, we'll see if their production uh, will be up there, like some of the guys we've been around. Uh, but uh, they really are ability-wise, and uh, and uh, I really like the way they go about their business. They're they're uh, very uh, sincere, and uh, they're they're competitive guys by nature. And uh, so, uh, you know, I like where they're at. Coach, you like a four down lineman or three, or what's your scheme on these defense? Yeah, we're four down for for the most part. I mean, we'll get multiple on some third down or some 
certain teams or some spread packages, we can mix it up and we have that ability to mix it up, but we're primarily a four down. Coach, uh, last year the defense, I think, only fought, caused about 10 turnovers. Um, you've been a defensive guy for a while. How do you, what can you do in practice to up that stat? Well, you have to emphasize it. And, and I've been on both, both ends of that. I've been around some defenses that, that we've, you know, gotten all kinds of turnovers, and sometimes it doesn't go your way. Uh, but the the bottom line is is that you do have to emphasize it, and you have to practice that, and 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 so on. And we'll do all those things necessary. Mark, is your number one concern depth, or if it's not, what would it be? Well, of course, I think yeah, I think it's fair to say depth would be the first thing, and then uh, the second thing would be a, a, a explosive playmakers. Well, Corey really, even with, even in our system, you know, we have some spots for him as well. So there's a, there's if you're a good football player, we'll find a position uh, to help us. And uh, you know, we need every player we can get. And uh, Corey is a guy that will be doing some of those multiple things for us as well. Coach, mm. Well, to this point, it, it's been just an understanding because the, it was everything was so new to them. You know, even even you know just the operation of, of getting the ball out quicker and just fundamentally, you know, let alone the scheme. So there's a there was a lot for them to take in in the spring. That's why it'll be interesting to see who progressed through the summer, and then you know who who jumps out at us through this fall camp. So. Uh, they had quite a bit on their plate for the first 15 practices, so uh, you, you can understand why I'd be hesitant to try to name a starter and force that issue when it, 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 we weren't ready to do that. You talk about how you felt about the offensive line coming out of spring, and did any of those new guys you signed possibly contribute? I hope so, but it, it's hard sometimes for O-linemen. That's one position where you, you, know, you prefer to, to let them grow up a little bit and mature and, and gain some strength. Uh, there's some decent D linemen in this league. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. we got time for a couple more. Yeah. Well, I just think that's, that's you know, that's where us coaches are most comfortable, at least that's where I am. You know, I'm comfortable uh, out there working with the guys and you feel like you're, you're making progress, you know, with your team and with our program. And so that's why it's exciting for me uh, to get out there and, and to just uh, be around those guys is to, is to help them uh, get better and become a better football team. You mentioned the quarterbacks and we to see how they progressed over the summer as far as understanding. Is it the same side? Yes, absolutely. I think it, it, it's definitely the same thing. Uh, we feel like, uh, again, we've, we've had good leadership, you know, with Avery and some guys through the summer. Uh, uh, they did some good work with uh, seven on seven on their own, from what I understand. And, uh, and uh, we'll see how much they, they did and how much they progressed. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. It's a back as an area you, you talked about needing to get better. It's obviously an area that's sort of, a, of expertise for you. Uh, how closely will you work with Derek uh, throughout the camp and, and sort of monitoring those guys and coaching them? I will. I will be more involved than I was in the spring. In the spring, you, you know, it was just getting to know all of our players and, and, and managing the whole team. And, of course, I still need to do that. Uh, but, uh, but I will get in there and meet with the defensive backs and coach the defensive backs and, and uh, assist with Coach Elliott and all the defensive coaches in helping. Uh, it's all hands on deck for us. We need everybody we can to help us get better. Possibly, Austin uh, is a is a great young man and uh, and uh, is a hard worker and uh, we'll see you know we'll see where he's at but yes he could help us. Coach, what was the latest on Melvin Lewis? He's finishing one. He's got one class. He's finishing up right now. So you think he is going to be eligible this year? 
that's what the plan is. So, uh, at defensive tackle, I think your top three guys are all seniors. Uh, who behind them do you feel are yeah. you ready to step up? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That, that was a, an area uh, for us. That's one of the reasons we went after Melvin. The nice thing for him is he is three for two as well. So if he misses a, a great deal of camp and he can't get caught up, then we'll see where he's at. But uh, he will be uh, needed in the future uh, for sure. Last question. Anybody? Do you have any concerns that the expectations of your fans are perhaps unrealistic given all this excitement about the recruiting and center? Yeah, I think uh, we're all excited. Uh, you know, I want the fans excited about what we're doing. I want the fans excited about the hard work that these players have done. Um, uh, again, I've said that before. I think, uh, you, know, you know, most most people understand where we're at as a program and where we want to get to. Uh, we have a lot of work to, to, to do, and uh, we're excited about doing it.